hello friends welcome to my youtube channel it plan is today in this video we are going to see the exercise solution of class 5 chapter number 7 that is programming basics so friends if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe the channel on this youtube channel you will get exercise solutions of all the chapters of your class so don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel it planet let's start first question tick the correct answer in that first the direction of flow in any flow chart should be from top to bottom the symbol used to indicate input and output of a program is parallelogram machine language is directly understood by the computer so the answer is machine language low level language lll low level language is machine independent language so b question write t for true and f for false statements let's see all the statements one by one in that first statement an algorithm is a graphical representation of a flow chart this statement is false statement Algorithm is not graphical representation of a flowchart, but vice versa is there. Flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm. Okay, the flowchart helps in finding out errors. This statement is true statement. Decision box is a rectangular box used for doing calculations, and this statement is false statement. Decision box is not rectangular box. The people who write computer programs are called users. This is also false statement. The people who write computer programs are called programmers. An assembly language does not need a translator and this statement is false statement. Assembly language requires translator that is assembler. In that next fill in the blanks in fill in the blanks first question flowchart was developed by Herman Goldstone and John von Neumann the rhombus shape symbol is known as decision box number three natural language is sometimes called fifth generation language next number four a computer only understands binary digits directly and number five assembler converts the assembly language program into machine language converts v e r t s converts the assembly language into machine language let's see the question number d name the following flowchart symbols so here are some symbols which are used in the flowchart so we have to write the names of these symbols first this symbol is called start stop box this symbol this is oval shape actually this is rect uh, parallelogram shape this parallelogram shape is used for input output and this rhombus shape is decision box and this circle is connector so next e question define the following number one machine language a machine language also called first generation language is a language directly understood by a computer without any translation it refers to zeros and ones that a computer can understand as instructions due to this reason it is also called low level language second one is assembly language an assembly language uses letters and symbols instead of using numbers ones and zeros a program written in assembly language uses short sequence of letters called mnemonics codes like add for addition cmp for comparison lda for loading and mul for multiplying so differentiate between the following in that first is compiler and second is interpreter a compiler converts the entire
एंटायर एच एल एल प्रोग्राम एच एल एल मीन्स हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम इन टू मशीन लैंग्वेज एट वंस एंड ऑल्सो डिस्प्लेज एरर्स फॉर द होल प्रोग्राम टूगेदर इंटरप्रिटर कन्वर्ट्स वन लाइन ऑफ ए प्रोग्राम एट अ टाइम इट डिस्प्लेज एरर ऑफ वन लाइन एट अ टाइम एंड गोज टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन ओनली आफ्टर करेक्शन ऑफ द of that errors so this is the major difference between compiler and interpreter question number g answer in the following questions three questions are there number 1 what do you mean by flow chart yes the answer is here a flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process that is algorithm it is called a flow chart as it charts the flow of program the direction of flow in a flow chart is always from top to bottom or left to right let's see second question what do you mean by computer language a computer language also known as programming language is a special language understood by the computers it consists of a set of words symbols and codes that is used to write a computer program what do you understand by hll high level language yes and the answer is a high level language hll has instructions which are almost similar to english language it is user friendly and resembles the language that we use a program written in hll can be run on almost all the computers without any change and the next h question it should be h e f g and it should be h so h application based question several years ago a programmer who is no longer with the company wrote a program for company using high level language now his colleague is working on the same program and has discovered that the program is not working by which software can he detect the errors help him either by compiler or interpreter so by using either com either compiler or interpreter we can find out or detect the errors of that program so again friends i am requesting you to subscribe my channel it planet on this channel you will get all the exercise solutions of your all the chapters so thank you for watching this video Bye bye take care